Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and happy new year. I've been gone for about a month and I thank you for all of your support and I thank you for sticking around and watching even though I was gone. I hope you had a fabulous holiday and I hope that the year um, brings you amazing blessings and opportunities. But today we kick off our 2020 year with a butter burger. I mean, what's better than a burger? A burger with butter inside. Today we're going to be stuffing some delicious Angus beef with a disc of compound butter and we're gonna be sticking it in our Sonoya air fryer oven and we're gonna be cooking it off. I can't wait to share with you how this all comes together. Before we start building our butter burger, I wanna say thank you to the good folks at Sonoya who have sponsored today's video. We're gonna be cooking our butter burgers in their fabulous air fryer slash steam oven. You guys have seen me use that in other videos previous to this. If you want more information about their fabulous appliance, I'm gonna leave it down below in the information box. I'm not kidding, it's one of the best air fryers I have ever used and that is no joke. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later. But right now, we're gonna build our butter burger. Now, some of you who might live in Wisconsin might be familiar with a Wisconsin butter burger, which is a different animal from what I'm going to do today. This is going to be an all beef, an all Angus beef 85 to 15 burger that I'm going to encapsulate a disc of our compound butter inside. Remember right back before Christmas when I showed you guys how to make compound butter? This is a fabulous thing to have in your fridge. You can put it on top of anything, a piece of steak, grilled meat, grilled fish. You can put it on a baked potato or whatever, whenever you need a delicious herby, buttery accompaniment. We're going to take this and encapsulate it in here and then we're gonna stick it in the Sonoya air fryer and it's going to be delicious. This is a great option if you're trying to go low carb or maybe you're doing keto. We're also going to be serving this with some sauteed onions and mushrooms. You can put this on a bun if you're going whole hog you can leave it out. If you really want to go whole hog and gild the lily you can put some bacon on this too. Today we're going to avoid the bacon. I know that makes Rick sad but mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna look I just got these Angus beef patties so we're just going to go ahead kind of put a little dent in the middle and then just kind of start covering it up with that patty and then you can reform it just like that you don't want to manipulate it or press it too hard because then you're gonna end up with a tough burger you want your burger to be beautiful and juicy and delicious and because this is an Angus beef burger it's gonna have a nice rich flavor now we're gonna go ahead and season I have my homemade burger and fry seasoning in here we'll give this a little shaky shaky and then we're just gonna put this on the tray. This is the tray I'm gonna use to cook the burgers in the air fryer. That works just fine. Um, I'm gonna have to preheat my air fryer at 350 degrees for about five minutes, and then we're gonna pop these in, and I'll bring you back when that happens. All right, our oven is all preheated, and I comes with this nifty lifter so that later on when we're done cooking, it also helps me lift it down in here because, you know, this oven is now hot because we preheated it for five minutes. So later, I'll be able to lift it out with that same tool. It really is very, very useful. So now I'm gonna close the oven lid. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set the temperature. Now this auto automatically defaults to 104 degrees, so 350 is about where you wanna cook your burgers, and then you're gonna do your time. We'll take the internal temperature of one of the non-butter burgers. That way we'll know that all the burgers are approximately the correct temperature. We like our burgers to be medium to medium rare, or medium rare to medium. So I will take the internal temperature using a, a meat thermometer when the timer goes off and we'll bring you back and we'll show you what these look like. Our timer went off. Now I'm gonna say we went ahead and I added in about three minutes after I checked it the first time, but they are looking great and we have checked the temperature and it is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get ready to serve these and we will fix them all up and I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like. Again, you guys, if you want more information about this Sonoya air fryer oven, it is also a steam oven. You've seen me do a rolled turkey breast. You've seen me do the most incredible London broil that I have ever had in my life and that is not a lie. I would not blow you know, sunshine up your skirt, I'm promising you that. This thing has impressed me more than just about anything that I have ever had anyone send me. And uh, I kid you not, this one is definitely a keeper for me. In fact, 
A lot of the appliances that I do get, sometimes they go to my storage and we bring them back as we need them. Some things are just real keepers and this one is definitely a keeper. I actually made a special spot on my kitchen rack for this. I bought a box to keep it in so that it would keep it nice and clean and honestly, I love it. I anticipate cooking a lot of different things in this. Everything from, you know, heating up a slice of pizza to uh, reheating like uh, store-bought croissants or something like that. I'm actually really looking forward to making some bread in here, like a loaf of uh, a boule of artisan bread. I'm really looking forward to giving that a try, simply because what this is is a convection oven. This thing is a delight. I'm really happy that, that I have it, and I'm so happy that they are confident enough to sponsor our videos. So. Um, look forward to more usage of this air fryer oven and if you have an air fryer oven that isn't like this um, that's great you can still use your air fryer oven for many of the things that I share you might have to make them smaller or if you have a large capacity air fryer go for it I love the size of this bowl it's 17 liters and it's fantastic it's all glass you can put it in the dishwasher and it's super super easy to use so Again, more information will be a link down below where you can check out their Amazon page and have a look for yourself. I'm super impressed with it. We are really enjoying it as a family and I really can't say enough about it. So thank you to Sonoya for sponsoring today's video, for sending us this fabulous oven. And now on to our burgers. Well, there you have it. Our butter burger is all done. I have some jammy onions and sauteed mushrooms on top here. And I did go ahead and put a nice slice of melty American cheese. I wanna cut this in half for you guys so that you can see how delicious and juicy that is. So good. Mm, look at, look at how beautiful that is. The butter and the herbs all in there and it's perfectly medium rare. Just like I said, we did ours between 135 and 140 just like we did the, um, the London broil and I can't wait to eat lunch. This looks fantastic. I'm gonna take a bite. Get out of here. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's so good. No matter how you make wow. these. I mean, you can throw these on your grill. You can throw them in the broiler or in your oven. You can do them in a skillet on top of your stove. We made them in our air fryer because we wanted to. The butter has made the burger super moist. And that's flavorful. one of the reasons. Hmm? And flavorful. And flavorful. One of the reasons we went with um, a higher ratio beef, 85-15, is because we were adding the butter in there. So I do not recommend using even an 80-20 for this because you're already going to be adding butter. So that's going to kind of make up for the fat content that you've lost. It's so good. Mm. With mm -hmm. those jammy onions and mushrooms, that just makes it perfect. You don't even need any other condiments on this. It really, it's super flavorful. You get all of the benefits of the beef and all the vegetables. You guys are gonna love this. Mm. I'm serving mine on a brioche bun. You can go however you want. Rick's gonna have his on an English muffin because we only have three buns and everybody wants a burger. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? I'll take one for the team. He will, he's so good. That is how you make butter burgers in your air fryer oven or otherwise. It's super simple. It's just something a little extra. It's just another way to fancy up your everyday same old, same old. I wanna thank Sonoya for sponsoring today's video. Again, if you want more information about the air fryer oven, please use the link down below and go check it out. I hope you give these butter burgers a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.